for the beginning, I recommend that you start an empty project to see what's the asset like. So let's start a new project in Unity Hub, new. We choose the 3D template and give it a name like hand cursor test. Then we install the assets through the asset store. Window, asset store. Search for the asset, hand cursor mystery, and then choose the package. When you purchase it, then you can download it and import into your project. The package looks like this. It has two base folders in it. One is the 2D legacy version, which is the previous version with a hand cursor that is based on simple 2D images. Then we have the 3D folder, which contains the new version with the 3D hand. For now, we can import everything in your game. If you only need one of these versions, you can simply uncheck the other one because these two are completely independent. So click on import. And then we can close the asset store. For a quick start, I recommend that you go into the hand cursor package and open one of the demos. Hand cursor 3D demo to get a quick impression of the asset. Let's go to maximize here and play it. So if nothing moves uh, in the beginning, you have to click once inside the game window to set the input focus here. So now you can see the mouse is moving, the hand is moving with our mouse cursor and you can try out the different cursor shapes by hovering these orbs. So the demo might look a little bit different in your version um, depending on which version you download. Maybe I change a few things later. So the demo works, but as you can already see, there are messages which indicate that there's something to be done before using it actually. So when we look into the console window, here's for example one message which says uh, that the cursor layer has an empty name. So there might be things to set up before everything works correctly. To show you what has to be done before you can use it, I'll make another video which shows you how to set up the whole system from scratch. So let's go into the next video to see how to use this in your game.